what's up guys i guess i want to touch base on this uh this trend for a while called the man in the suit so we're on the second part i think we have all this thing bunched up into one video so i have a friend of mine in this also i did not cut my hair it's in a ponytail so without further ado let's go what's going on and welcome back to another video in today's video we are exploring a newer godzilla analog horror series called the man in the suit so you know how like back in the 50s all the godzilla movies weren't cgi like they are now it was really just two guys in a suit fighting each other and it looks kind of goofy now but back then that was probably like state of the art well in today's analog horror series we find out about an incident where the actor of godzilla actually merged with the suit and all of the crazy events that come from that this series is by the creator unknowingly whose channel link will be at the top of the description down below please be sure to go and support your analog horror content creators but just before we start i want to let you guys no, this has nothing to do with the other Godzilla analog horror that we covered, the Summation Trials. That is a completely different series. But alright guys, enough of me talking. The story in this one is incredible. Let's jump right in. Tape 1. Godzilla suit incident, 1954. Yeah, I see Godzilla's in the background. He's destroying some buildings. I see fire. The person in the Gojira suit was unknown at the time. Gojira, am I pronouncing that right? I'm sorry if I'm not. But the story, the actor has with the gojira is odd oh, okay this is a photo of him in the suit here is another picture okay. you got the acting job of being and wearing the gojira suit go go gorija go gorgia go, 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 that's Go Gojira, which is and basically the, the uh, I would too. That's got to be a sick job. Oh my god! You just no, chill it's Godzilla not. suit and so for down. suit actors, you, you have to be to fit. You never saw his just actual get face. That role. A Toho producer. All right, maybe don't wear the suit too much though, bro. That's oh my a little, god! It's a little, a little weird. Even when we take breaks, he would just wear the suit. The suit would sometimes heat up, but he didn't care. Definitely getting a little weird now. Mm -hmm. It was like if he was addicted to the suit. Like it's calling his name. All right, someone should probably take that off him. It's gotten to the point where he brings the suit home even though we tell him not to. He wouldn't really speak a lot, but he would say that his name is Goji, basically the nickname we gave to the suit. The last time he was seen on set, he was acting in the suit until he just stopped. This is the photo that was taken. Several minutes later, he would start to walk and stop yet again. His breathing was muffled, yet he was also breathing oddly. Okay. The director thought this was a joke, poking at him to get back in place, but he wouldn't budge. After two odd minutes of oddly breathing, he would tell people to check on him and to make sure he takes off the suit. This was the photo someone took before the person on the right saw what was inside. Was something else inside other than the actor? The man opened the costume to see that he was growing into the suit. His flesh would slowly rip away as he tried to open oh the Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude. His flesh would slowly rip away. I would not want to be a suit, suit actress. Now Trust skin. me. Oh my god, so the suit is now the skin. Somehow his body deformed to the point he was filling the inside of the suit. Ugh. <laughs> I'm sick. Ugh. What do you mean what by the fuck, bro? Okay. Am I gonna get a diagram? 
this I is think what we they will. expected. Little person. <laughs> a man inside of a suit? Okay. What did they actually get? Oh yeah, fun this fact. This is what they found. Okay, hold on. We're gonna get a we might get jump scared, I don't know. Audio. Oh my god! Hold on, hold on. Go back, go back, go, go back. back to so that this shit. this guy, he gets a job. He's Godzilla. He has to be in the suit, act on film, you know, normal stuff. Pretty sick job to have. I'm not going to say I would love, love, love to have this job. I Maybe wouldn't have this job, this honestly. I would just be a typical voice punts, actress. Just in general, you can check out my works so for anyway, my good friend, 2091 Rivera Israel. Decides to wear it on brakes. Even though it gets really hot inside the suit, he wouldn't take it off. He starts bringing it home. Now, as a as a producer, director, whoever the hell is on set for this movie, how many red flags do you need to see before you're like, there's a problem here. There is something wrong. Instead, they decided to wait until this incident that happened, which is he suddenly he's filming and he's just inside the suit and stops moving. And then they find out that he's a part of the suit. He's literally become the suit. He's not inside the suit anymore. He's become it. But it's like gross enough to think that it would be like attached to his skin and whatnot. Like that's gross when they mention that. But the fact that they showed this diagram, like his body is just expanding to fill the suit entirely. That's the guy. Guys, it's not a furry. It's not the same thing. Stop saying yeah, that. Yeah, stop, stop being, saying it's a furry. Hurt? I I'm gonna work. I hurts. guess it does hurt. Yeah, I would um, definitely think this hurts. There is like a, you see how they, there's like an outline here of the lower body though, and then the head too. I wonder if that's important. I don't know if that's just like a, a, a cool detail for the drawing. I actually, don't know. But I guess we'll find out. God Some man. interesting stuff to note here though, is there's a description, which is in another language. This okay. also says Hiroshima. Okay. Um, so hold on, give me a second. I'll translate the description here. Godzilla may be a monster, but it doesn't seem to me that way. He's rather God. We control our world according to our own order, and I will become the flesh of beasts. I will be Godzilla's host. Because okay, I want to become Ultraman? a god that is respected by people. I want to be this beast's meat. Whoa, okay, hold on. What? Hey, yo. Jesus. <laughs> and the fear of which one is wrong. I'm not a movie monster. This is Goji, law of God and evil. I will live inside this beast. Because he is the only one who can help us. There is no god, just me. Goji. So I think that's definitely, obviously, written by the guy that's in the suit, right? Like, the actor. Did we get the actor's name? Does anybody know? I kind of vibe with it. Okay, so the first person to play Godzilla is Haru Nakajima. And I think he died in 2017. I may be wrong on the year he died, so... If Please don't get mad at me. If if you know the year he really died, let me know. God Godzilla? I'm down. I think I'm understanding everything that's going on. My question is, what, like, caused this incident? Is it the suit is haunted? I mean, obviously, I mean, obviously something's wrong with the suit, but what created this problem with the suit? You know what I mean? Like, where, what is the origin of this? Tape two. And gear suit incident, 1955. Oh, okay. First monster Godzilla ever fought. Not one, but Not two, one, but two. Of, the of the most terrifying, terrifying creatures, creatures ever, ever man on man. man. Each a raging, it, oh my god, horror. yeah. Both on a rampage to stun your every sense. Dude, you're getting really into this trailer. Gigantus, the fire monster. Gigan okay, it's gigant gigantus. To destroy each other. But first, they'll destroy the world. They just basically do like. Oh my god. The fantastic fire monsters raging out of the flaming bowels of hell. Mighty Gigantus crushing whole cities in his wrath. Why is he called Gigantus? Is, is it that not Godzilla? Godzilla? Or is it not Godzilla anymore and now it's like like Godzilla got replaced with Gigantus? And deadly 
Angurus, screaming its challenge of mortal combat. And deadly Angurus, screaming its challenge of mortal combat. The battle of the ages. Scenes and sights and sensations beyond any, beyond any. I was kind of vibing with that trailer. Yes, you were. The man in the Godzilla suit still came along for the next movie. If they stopped and told anyone about the suit man, Toho would have been sued and ridiculed for keeping such a disgusting creation. So they decided to keep him out of the public so they would bank off the success of Gojira. Yo, what? Ah. Okay, somebody's so gotta put this guy down. acting in the next movie despite him literally being the suit? He basically killed people. The man in the Godzilla suit has been examined by private doctors. The doctors say that he had consumed a drug that made his skin and flesh inflate inside of the suit and the skin and flesh fused together, making the outside of suit his skin. Do I believe that? His bones were rearranged oh my, inside. Oh, of that's agony. The, the bones getting the rearranged in the suit. Okay. I'm going to throw up. It turned out that he could see out of the eye sockets of the suit, but his eyes were bloodshot. Wow. That's kind of... Can you imagine looking at this thing? Like, this thing is now a, a real person. Imagine like, you just seeing this in the middle of an anymore. alleyway. His eyes were bloodshot. Crap, that's crazy. It's also terrifying. Slowly fading. What the fuck is going on? The name of the actor who plays Angiris is unknown. Okay. People on set noticed how he was odded out by the man in the suit. No one had told him what happened and what he was now. <laughs> That's crazy. The man in the Godzilla suit was very cooperative. Even after losing his vocal cords, he could make noises like one of an animal. I, oh my god, this is insane. Like, just this situation is wild. This guy becomes a Godzilla suit, and then they're like, alright, you want to act in the next movie, though? <laughs> and then they don't tell the other actor that he's fighting. Uh, yeah. Everything was fine until the last scene where they would both fight, where where they would both fight would commence. I mean, money. <laughs> okay. What do you mean, you money, mean money is money? Is money. <laughs> For the Godzilla actor? No! Or was a Godzilla suit? What is He's money not! Matter? What the fuck? Damn, Godzilla beating his ass. Yeah, because oh, 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 the pagoda. Oh, and yes, the a pagoda is a oh. Japanese building, aka temple. In case you didn't know that, oh, that's don't. what a pagoda is. Look it up on Google Images. Oh, yeah, yo. Yo, he's oh. biting his neck like he's a vampire. Goji, relax a little bit. Jesus. That's not. Did he kill the actor in the Angier suit? Uh, the, the man, man in the, the suit would... would chomp on the actor's head, making him. Bleed. That's not part of the it's script. Not part of the script. Oh, was it really not part of the script? Jesus. No way. The actor would yell for help as the teeth clamped in onto him. He would stop moving. Oh my god! The man in the suit would protect the unconscious actor as he roared at anyone who came close to it. Protect, bro! You just killed him. I don't oh, even know unless anymore. It's like he's protecting his food. The actor would awaken, shaking violently as he breathes heavily. The crew on set helped him up. Fearing the worst, they tried to take off the suit, but it wouldn't budge. Oh, no. Oh, so he didn't kill him. The same thing happened to the Angiris, stuff. Oh, it's like a mutation or like too. a zombie apocalypse. A you know, if you get bit by a zombie, the suit, then you get bit next. The unconscious Holy actor. shit. I do have thoughts on this, but I'm going to save them for after. Once this video finishes. This is, this the, is the picture. picture. Oh, that's nightmare fuel. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, I wouldn't try to get near and curious either if this thing was looking yeah, at me. Yeah, that was looking that's, at me like that. Holy shit. That's some good shit. nightmare fuel that, right that's there. That's like what it looks like at a fucking alleyway. Is that?
Nah, nah, hold on. I can't even Yo, wait any longer. Yo, what the Who fuck? Who approved this? Who approved Who this? this? Yeah, you remember the first movie, that guy that, like, became a part of the Godzilla suit? Let's invite him on for the sequel. No. No. Put him down. Euthanize that idea. bitch. Bro has no vocal cords and only replies with, like, he only makes monstrous growls. Like, there has to there has to be a reason. Like, okay. Sounds like my Toho grandma in the like morning. in charge of this, right? In charge of the movies. Toho gotta be up to some stuff. They gotta put stuff. this. Like, they they have, have to have put him down. Underlying um, intentions. And then who approved? Not telling the Angiris actor what what he was fighting. Bro must have been like, yo, this Godzilla, he's a good actor, bro. He really beat my ass and making the monster noises. Not realizing he's literally fighting mini Godzilla. <laughs> he's actually fighting a version of it. Also, I did see you guys said uh, Gigantus is the Americanized name of of Godzilla. This is what they expected. Oh, are we gonna see a di diagram of uh, Angiris or Anglias? There's several names to ways to pronounce this guy's name. Holy shit, dude, you vibe into that fucking ass music. <laughs> Again, at the stick man. Oh, what the fuck? Flash was... image. We yeah, gotta go we back just to gotta that. go back to this. This is what they found. The music is not as fun anymore. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do not jump scare us. Don't jump scare me. Oh, wow. Wow. That looks even worse than Godzilla. Going back frame by frame here. Looks like an eye. Is that an eye? It looks like a really zoomed in eye, right? Yeah, his eyes were bloodshot. Yeah, that's what that's what immediately made me think it was an eye. Red bloodshot eyes. And then someone someone said that this this last bit of text at the end here says, help me. Okay, here it is. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. So this is something fun to learn. I actually didn't know this was a thing. You can upload images to Google Translate. Did you know that? Obviously it's a little uh you know, it's a little it says, help but me. It does say help me. I'm sure I'm sure if this was cleaned up better. And then they said he was examined by private doctors. The doctors said that he may have consumed a drug that made his skin and flesh inflate inside of the suit. And then the skin and flesh fused together, making the outside of the suit a skin. I guess that makes sense. Like, there's a reason. But is that true or is that just what they're telling us? I don't like, even know. Like, is that true or is that BS? I find that hard to believe that a drug inflated him. Wait, no, that can't even make sense. Because I doubt the Angiris actor did the same thing. And they said that he was fighting Angiris. Godzilla was fighting him. Godzilla decides, you know what? <clears throat> bite of 50, 55. Decides to take a chomp out of his neck. Yeah, the bite Angiris of 55. And then, like, he had five minutes of Freddy's later with and the bite of 87. And then suddenly, the exact same thing that Godzilla is, where he's, he's just filled up in the suit. So it's almost like Godzilla bit him and then was kind of just, like, overlooking him, protecting him while he was kind of maybe growing into the suit. But all right, uh, let's jump into the next one. Was there something in the description on that previous video? There, there is. Soon an army will rise, an army that I created, a military that shows what happens when there is a nuclear war. They will end up with the same creatures they created with the atomic bomb. The truth will be known to others and soon my family will be avenged. They will understand that we will not resign. I'm not afraid of anyone. I'm not afraid of weapons. I'm not afraid of bombs. I, Goji. Mmm, okay. Yeah, I, I do think there's a description in every video, so we will be translating them all. I believe that's a reference to Hiroshima, no? Because the first video, it said, it's, oh, it says it on the second one too. Look at this. Dang. You can see Hiroshima here. Yeah. The original Godzilla movie had the same message. Gotcha. Gojira is an anti-nuclear allegory. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to like look into that further, cause I believe I heard. I heard about that, but I don't know like too much about it. So Godzilla was a symbol for the anti-nuclear movement, basically. Okay. To correct the dangers of nuclear war. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. That's kind of like taking the meaning of Godzilla like to a to a real level. Then interesting. Interesting. Hi, I'm Victoria mm -hmm. Mystic. Tape three. 
Godzilla encounter. Oh boy. 1962. Oh yeah, the Kong. King Kong. We got some color, baby. Yeah. I mean, I like not. I've got to get a fucking. I've got to get all the movies. I only have certain Godzilla movies. Yeah, the OG. This is the OG Godzilla vs. Kong. Yeah, that was Actually, like a typical there was, there crossover was in the 60s. Made. I thought that was a new idea. King Kong vs. Godzilla, the poster. The two mightiest monsters of all time. With the man in suit being the only Godzilla suit at the time, they used him for the next film. Of course they Why did. Why would you bring did you him see back? To Godzilla? I mean, to, to King Kong? With no. King Kong being an American film, the man in the suit wasn't having it. Oh, shit. This is where I come in. Who the fuck are you? Who are you? I will be hiding my eyes and my name for me and my family's safety. I was put into the job of being the cameraman. They told me what happened before and told me to stay quiet about it or I would be arrested. But the truth needs to come out somehow. Oh, so we got a main character here. Tell me, tell me what happened. The man in suit wasn't happy making a movie with the Americans. I mean, if he's literally the living embodiment of anti-nuclear, uh, you understand. Toho producers forced him to look more appealing to a younger audience. He wasn't happy with how this all played out. He had a very bad dislike towards the actor in the King Kong suit. Soichi... Il Heroes? Heroes? Either thought Soichi Heroes was a traitor for portraying an American monster or saw something in him. We knew that he wasn't a big fan of the Americans. He'd roar at them and try to attack them. We treated him like a lion at the zoo. I mean, he's truly, he's truly a monster at this point. He's, I wouldn't even consider him human, really. We had to film one more scene. I was instructed to not stop filming. The script was for after destroying the big building, he would act to use his atomic ray breath on him. It did not go as planned. I'd expect that. Oh, damn, got his ass. I don't care if King Kong. How high up were they? How up? Were they that high up? Yeah. The man in the suit would push Soichi Hiro's off the cliff. And I had to record it all. It was a struggle in the water, splashing as one of them frantically tried to get out of the other's grasp. Only one of them rose from the water. Let's take a wild guess who, chat? Godzilla, Godzilla. of course. Yep. Yeah. Godzilla only came out of the water. Told y'all Godzilla solos. I was sick to my stomach, not wanting to know what he had done to Soichi Hiros. I got my other camera and ran. And the question is, is the same thing gonna happen to King Kong? I tried to leave the long corridors of the Toho studio, wanting to take a quick breath of fresh air, but I heard screams from the room I had left. The power went out. Power goes out. I used the flash of my camera trying to look around, frantically trying to find an exit. I heard someone's footsteps walking towards me. Hey, hey, hey you're moving f too fast. What the I fuck? I was an employee. I took a photo wanting to find an exit quick. It, it wasn't. wasn't oh, it was the man in the suit. If you need to record. Yeah, that's definitely got to be the man in the suit. If it's not an employee or a co-worker, it's got to be the man in the suit. It was the man in the suit. Fuck, I was right. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, nah. He definitely wants to mole that guy. 
Who better run? Oh, I mean, he obviously ran, right? He's alive to tell the story. I mean, he would be dead by now. We're going back. I got to translate that text. So basically what happened in that one, Godzilla does not like the Americans, does not like King Kong. And in the fight scene for the movie, he fell with King Kong off the cliff and then drowned him, essentially is as far as what we know the cameraman here is the one that's telling this story so far and uh we're not getting his name because he doesn't want to get his family at risk so he's kind of hiding his name and stuff but he tries to run away from the whole situation that he just filmed and apparently the man in the suit literally followed him i would guess that the cameraman's dead but the cameraman made this video that we just saw right so he he can't be dead actually uh but hold on i do want to translate whatever that text is at the end here Traitor Dang. is the translation. Uh, we do have a translation in the description, or a uh, or some text to translate in the description. So we're gonna do that now too. Traitor, you're supposed to make a movie about what happened, about what they did, what they did to my family, what they did to me. You filthy traitors! I didn't pour my soul into this corpse to be toyed with, and with the people who killed my family. Traitor. So, is that, I would say, this is the actor of Godzilla talking. It sounds like that his family may have died in Hiroshima, and now he's joined with the suit and is trying to get revenge. Is that what we think? Is that the consensus here, chat? Yes. Uh. Oh my god, no. Tape 4. Depiction of growth. Alright, we're on 1962. the- 1962. Nope, we're still on 62. I was startled by the first encounter of the man in the suit. It made me more curious than ever. It might harm me of doing this, but I need answers. All right, so this is the cameraman talking again. So I've gone to one of my friends who was smart with this stuff. I won't name her, so I'll call her Elisa. I called her, but she was in the middle of teaching her class, but she would still call me because of how curious she was. She'd never seen anything like this. Is it Elisa or Eliza? Elisa? It's gotta be Elisa, right? Yeah. I'm saying Elisa. It's got S in there. I recorded the section of the call. thing is, whatever this was caused wasn't from a pill. This is something else. Oh, God. This is the work of radiation. Holy. Holy shit. The man in the suit doesn't fuse with the suit instantly. His body explodes in the suit, then it reshapes itself in the suit. How do I explain this? Imagine a cream-filled donut. Without the cream, it's mostly a flat donut. That was the suit before, but because of the filling. The man, it basically filled up all the space. But him and a cream-filled donut are different. The cream and donut are separate entities. There is a barrier so they don't mix. The man in the suit, however, his skin, his flesh, his bones, it's fusing with the suit. His teeth would be the suits. Whatever he took. It's mutating him. It's making him more like a creature than a human. Soon, he will have animalistic properties. Oh, like boy. using its teeth more effectively. And would be able to control his tail. You said his eyes could move. And that they are bloodshot. But in this photo, his eyes flashed back. Human eyes don't do that. You need to try and put him down. If not... It is probably too late for mankind. Hmm. She said something about him mutating to the point that he looks like a beast. So essentially what she said is that it looks like radiation caused it. Which again makes sense because this is like, he's supposed to be the living embodiment of like anti, you know, anti-nuclear, anti-radiation. So he, he is a product of what he's against. Now what did make him like that is what's curious like she she basically confirmed like it's not a pill that caused this it's something something radiation so we still don't know the true cause of what caused the radiation for him to be like that interesting though i like that she compared it to a donut but she said that he should put it down like he should kill it so is this guy's mission now going to be to kill this thing i question what he would look like when he's in when he's fully mutated she corrected me there is no stopping point for the mutation she then told me to go to an artist and gave me a description that I sadly forgot now. So even when he basically fully becomes the suit, 
it, he will still continue to mutate what would what would go further than him becoming literally a part of the suit i told them to make the art and they complied my japanese would be a bit rusty because i thought i asked for one drawing but got three here are the drawings So this is what they think he's eventually gonna... I actually, I, I, I can't at all understand what that was at the end there, that audio. It was very low, and even when I put it up all the way, it was hard to hear. I can't tell if it's another language or if it's in reverse. The voice is in Japanese. Interesting. The video is called Depiction of Growth, so I'm guessing those pictures are showing just how he would grow and mutate further. Someone also did say in the first video, when, when we learned about the original suit incident, Godzilla at one point froze and stopped moving. And then when he started moving again, and, that, and when they started to check up on him, that's when they realized he was a part of the suit. They did say in the phone call that he exploded and then he basically formed into the suit, like his body inside the suit exploded and then formed into it. So maybe that's, uh, that's it. Like that's when he exploded was when he stopped moving in that moment. Unknowingly said description. So, okay, let's translate the description again. I am not a monster. I will help you all. I will kill those who have wronged me, those who murdered my family and those who supported them. You. You killed my family. Monsters. So that's what's being said. So that's definitely very concerning. So now, Elisa basically said to the cameraman guy who's, who's unnamed currently, that you gotta put him down. Eventually he's gonna mutate too much, and he's, you know, we get these depictions of growth, which are the images here, which we'll show again. So we got this first one, this second one, and then this third one. He definitely should be stopped, and we should maybe stop putting him in new movies. I mean, come on, let's put, put him the down. guy down. <laughs> like, I would just put him down out of mercy. Yeah, so I wonder if no, he's, put him if down he's actually without kill, mercy. This, kill Godzilla, or what's going to happen here? Is he actually just going to mutate into something even crazier? Tape 5, Suit Trial, 1958. Oh boy. I snuck around the Toho building a day after the encounter with the man in the suit. I found a tape labeled... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna translate that right off the bat, just to make sure. Ooh, okay, that translates to compatibility test. I realized this was some years after the Angiris incident. Let me just show it. Ooh, we're gonna get to see this tape. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to read this the best I can. I've translated some of it, but some of it's inaccurate. We are fully aware of the situation we are in. We will do our best to test what they need to hear so they can listen. We will try to do some audio tests. Let's start with the man in the suit. We have him in the cell. Make sure he is there until until we can train him. He destroys the light and the darkness, but that's okay. The camera has night vision. Damn. So they're doing tests on the man in the suit? Apparently.
So these are the audio tests. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm seeing. That's his leg or his arm. the whole thing and then we'll go back. camera you just see a set of teeth and some i'm gonna read the description eyes. what uh, the for fuck us. why should i listen to him i don't know and why and then there's the rest that says we will try and do some audio tests let's start with the man in the suit we have him in a cell make sure he is there until you can train him he destroyed the light and only the darkness but that's okay we have a light and then we did hear that um, those were some Oppenheimer voice clips in there. Yeah. It sounds like. I mean, that I've was, never that seen was, the movie. I've never seen Oppenheimer. One. I did like that a lot at the uh, at the end there, how he kind of just like fades into the camera a little bit. He looks extremely, extremely creepy there. Tape six. We mailed a message. Oh, boy. 1962. I was mailed this tape. I don't think someone in the Toho studio made this. All right. You don't, you don't understand. understand. You, you killed, killed my, my family. family. You Americans cheered when we lost. We lost our homes. We lost our families. You nuked us. The nuke took my wife. The nuke took my kids. Hiroshima was our home. I left for a business trip. You took everything from me. So I decided to return peace. 
by getting rid of the people who wronged us. Yeah, this is definitely from the man in the suit. That's for sure. Definitely. Nah. Oh, nah. His teeth are... Oh, whoa, 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 yeah, go back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go back. Oh, hold up. Yeah, so it hold seems like phone. that he did this on purpose to get revenge, for sure. The man in the suit, whoever the actor is, it seems like his family, his children died in Hiroshima, and now he has literally become the form of Godzilla to take revenge on those who wronged him. Which honestly, it makes sense as a motivation to me. But the way that it's happening, like, dude, look, all right, now he's- That's he's not human teeth. Beyond the that is the teeth of an this animal. This is not normal beast. for the suit. The teeth don't expand like this, I think. So he's definitely, he's morphing beyond it. And what is he gonna do when that happens? We do have a translation in the description now. You took everything from me. Wow. Tape seven. Dorsal extraction. 1962. I recently got two sets of mail. They were shabby, but they came from Toho. Oh, they didn't look professional. They looked sloppy. One was how nobody at Toho mailed me the weird package, even though the mailing address was from there. Second was that I was fired. They must have thought I was telling people this. They were correct. I mean, yeah, you, you, you were making videos about the incidents and stuff. Thankfully, I had befriended someone to be a spy and get me photos and tapes of what was happening. Okay. So we still got someone on the inside at Toho to keep us updated on what's going on. He came here earlier with a tape called Dorsal Extraction. We will try and get him out of the suit. We are unsure if this is going to work. That was kind of hard to see. Is that his back? It's got to be the man in the suit, right? Th that looks like a person on the left. Is that a person? Okay, I hear a buzz saw. They're trying to like saw him out of the suit he was very cooperative that doesn't sound like him we thought it would hurt him but it didn't nah something's up here The results are fantastic. I don't think so. No way. Looks like they sawed off the back of the suit. Maybe. I'm surprised that it isn't the end because the spy told me that after two minutes of this being filmed, the man in the suit would attack a man with a camera told me that the flash from the camera hurt his eyes. The person took photos while they ran. These are the photos. We got a person, we got like the okay, foot. Okay, we got a little foot going on there. Blurry photo. Okay, what's going on? Another 
blurry photo. I don't even know what that is. Okay, that's that's the face. Oh, do you see his eyes? Yeah, that bloodshot, remember? Okay, so it's dorsal extraction, which means that... So I guess they just cut off his back fins? And they said it was successful, and that he he was okay with it. I don't understand. Why would why would he let it happen? Am I missing something? Also, the translation for the description of this one is "I'm beautiful in the dark," the which we do know that he he like broke the lights. I believe they said so. He does like the dark. That's what I'm saying. Like, listen, honestly, screw screw getting him out of the suit and like you know the guy inside. Put him down. <laughs> Euthanize that bitch! Rose literally killed people. He killed the King Kong actor, and then he turned Anguirus into the same thing that he is. Like, take this dude out. Tape eight. Anguirus suit, nineteen fifty-six. After digging for it, they'd finally found it. He finally got the tape I wanted. I want to know what happened to the man in the Angira suit. Yes, yes, yes. We've tried our best to comply with the other pe person who mutated in the suit. But his persistence hurts our finances. People want to see him, but he doesn't want to be seen. Oh boy. I was confused at first. This was all? Ah, come on, give me more, give me more, give me more. Then he started to explain. He explained that the next movie was supposed to be the man in the Angira suit versus the man in the suit. They've tried their best wanting to comply with Angira, like if they were training a dog to do tricks. He snapped a photo of them trying to comply with the Angira. They said they were going to use force on him using tasers and such. Oh, that's, that's horrible. That's like that's very dark. No, oh, they're gonna tase but him and use force. But he warned me that force. there was a movie in the works. Oh boy. Something about Gojira battling a. Uh, Giant moth. Mothra! I knew it. As soon as I said that, Mothra. That's Mothra, right? Yeah. That's the, is that the correct name of the monster? Mothra? Yeah. It sounds like Anguirus obviously was kind of forced into being turned into what it is now. Like, the actor was kind of forced into turning into this monstrous creature now. And it seems like it, it just, it obviously doesn't want to comply with any of this. It's horrible that they're using tasers and stuff on it. It's like torturing someone. We got two lines in the description here to translate. Why can't they listen? I just want to be human again. So oh, the Anguirus oh, yeah. is nothing like the man in the suit. Anguirus just wants to be human again. He didn't want this to happen to him. He doesn't want to be involved in the man in the suit and what he's doing. He, he kind of just got thrown into this terrible situation. Tape nine, rare newspaper, 1964. I've tried to get off of this situation and just leave Japan, but if I tried to, I'd probably be arrested. I went too far into this rabbit hole, too far to the point I can't get out. It just keeps getting worse. Somewhere in the making of the new movie, the man in the suit somehow escaped. Oh. How did you guys let this thing How escape? does he get out? How do I know this? How, how do you know? Tell me. It was, on the, it was on the news. It was on a fucking newspaper. Wait, no way. Is that a house? Is this like a house? What the fuck, bro? No. 
monstrous movie monstrous movie, movie set. monster sighting oh. sightings and witnesses have seen a creature that resembles a lanky and tall godzilla so he Damn, is growing he's size. growing bro he's mutating one late night couple started to travel home as the husband took some photos. The husband was a photographer and thought taking a picture of the road would be an inspiration to his next Oh, let photo me guess. Piece. Godzilla was in the photo. Holy shit. And then shit, what happened? Dude. He noticed Godzilla was in the photo. One of the photos captured this. Bro, bro. Okay, imagine driving down the road and Godzilla's there. Imagine driving down the road and Godzilla's just in the street. Oh my god! Dude! Around later that night, a boy would see a silhouette of this mysterious beast. Thinking it was Godzilla, he stormed outside with a camera trying to take a photo of it. No! You don't go outside like if there is a lanky day, creature. Like I mean, honest to god. I would be locked up in this room right now. These were the photos he was able to take. With a gun. If there was something like this outside. I don't know if I'd be terrified or think it was cool as hell. If this happened this in modern day, I street. don't know what I would be. Terrified or absolutely think like amazed thinking, okay, this is like part of a film popular. promotion. This kid. Yo. Nah, alright. That, that photo is really creepy. Dude, that, cre dude, that photo is creepy as fuck. What the hell? We have tried to interview the kid, asking him what he had seen and to draw a picture of the creature. Okay. Let's see I've what the, the kid draws dad. up. I know what Godzilla would look like, said the kid. The thing I saw outside on the street wasn't Godzilla. Oh, uh, then what did you see? The beast's skin looked fake yet real. Very uncanny. I mean, that's because it's like the suit skin, and now it's become real skin. I don't think it was a creature. It might be some man in a suit. I see what I you see did, what you what you did, did there. there. We know what I you did. I see what you did there. That's the title, get it? Man in the suit. I don't know how I can explain his face. It somehow kept changing. I think it's because of the lack of sleep. Oh, God. But I do remember one of his faces. He quickly drew a drawing of it. Yo, you look like you're gonna be his next meal. That face, the mouth, the eyes, you definitely were gonna be his dinner. That looked like you were gonna be his next meal. Toho got wind of this fast, explaining this was a promotion for their new movie. Honestly, genius move on Fucking their part. Fucking lies! Genius move on their part. That's the best way to explain that away. Somehow they were able to stop any more copies of this story from printing again. I have too many questions. What was he even doing outside? How did he even escape? Were Toho able to catch him? Oh, we don't even know if they caught him? What? Yeah, like, where was he going? What was his goal? Okay, we just got a picture of Mothra right, they again. Keep, I'm telling you right off the bat. The next video is the Masura suit incident, and they keep hyping up the moth. And the next video is the longest one in the series. It's 11, it's 11 minutes, minutes long. long. So I feel like the next video is about to be pretty crazy. What uh, the I'm going to translate the description just right off the bat for this one. This place, the outside air, the cars, the windows, the house. Did they just move on? Will we forget? Is he referring to, well, they, did they just move on from like what happened from Hiroshima and stuff? Is that what he's saying? Masura suit incident. Oh my 1964. god. It's Godzilla versus the moth or Mothra. This is crazy. It's the trailer, just like when we saw Angiers versus Godzilla. Oh. 
the spy I had befriended had told me what had happened during the time the man in the suit had escaped. He had told me that something went wrong. He said this has happened because of what conditions the man in the suit was in. He was lathered with some paste that made him look different and a bit shiny. He had to wear a glossy type of contact so they could hide his bloodshot eyes. He was forced to withstand high wind. He was dragged around. He was treated like a circus animal. During production, instead of the man in the suit fighting another man in a monster suit, it would be replaced by a puppet. Damn. I mean, it makes sense. How would they put a person in the Mothra suit, really? The man in the suit saw Masura, the puppet moth, as a living being. He thought someone was inside the puppet because of how lifelike it acted. <sighs> Toho thought that this was a very smart tactic until they realized they had a problem. What happened? What happened? Someone needed to be in one of the larvae suits. No, this is gonna go completely south. One female actor thought it was a good idea because of how much security they had, so agreed to be in one of the shots, being inside the larva suits. Wait. It was originally her first day on the job and invited her parents to see her act. Her parents didn't care about what character she was in the movie. They were happy that she was even included in production. Hey, W for supportive parents. We love to see. Yeah, I wish I had video. that. Sadly, the parents. amount of security isn't going to help her out of the trap she had put herself in. In one of the scenes they were filming, the man in the suit snapped. Oh, God. Going after the Masura puppet, biting onto it. After realizing that the moth was a puppet, he would go ballistic and charged after the woman in the larva suit. Oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah, I figured this yeah, would happen. Yeah, you're fucked. Yep. And the same thing's gonna happen just like it did with Angiris, right? Fuck, dude. He's gonna bite. She's gonna turn into the larvae. The man in the suit charges forward against the other suit. The larvae suit had plenty of headroom for her to duck down, but that won't stop the man from charging deeper. While her head gets bitten, her parents see everything. Oh no. He's probably gonna kill the parents. They tried to intervene. Is he gonna kill them too? They were both mauled to death by no, the man. No, the they get mauled! After mauling them, the man in the suit would immediately try and protect the larva suit, but the production crew were ready this time. Yeah, he's trying to do the exact Get same thing. Get her out! Get her out! With tasers, they stunned him away from the larva suit. In some fit of rage, he barges through security and escapes. Oh, there he goes. Second time he escapes the uh, thing. was dispatched to catch the man in the suit. Four men were tasked to stay with the larva suit, wanting to try and get her out of the suit. I mean, good idea. Yeah, try to get her out of the suit before she transforms. Or dies, that could be the worst. Spy was in the team to get the man in the suit. It took an hour to find the man in the suit. Oh uh, no. Alright, at least they ended up like finding him. I'm guessing they captured him too. They saw him looking around the forest as if he was just wandering around and looking at nature. As if he was calm. It is almost like a virus, I agree. The calmness broke as it saw the people trying to capture it. The man in the suit was surrounded. That's not good. Then it would start to shake violently. Oh, he's getting violent. He twitched as a sudden sound, as if he was vibrating. Yo, what? What is about to happen? Ugh. 
Oh my god, I'm hearing the sound of liquid. It vomited a red boiling liquid, presumably his own blood. Ew! Fuck it, that was so disgusting! I hate that we're hearing the liquid too. I'm gonna be this sick. This is its v version of its laser. This is the version it shoots That's out. That's disgusting. Blood. It was probably last resort the creature had, but somehow they had a hold of the beast and took it back. The spy took a picture of what was left. Oh, damn. They left quickly to go put the man in the suit into a secure place. I was gonna ask that. I was wondering if he was gonna get his own, like, a, to a version of atomic breath. I did There not you go. It's red blood. blood. Oh my god. They feared the worst coming back. Yeah, what happened? What happened to the larva? No. No. This is what they expected. Bro, she probably a metamorphosis. dude this is what they found oh my god wait so that's not what happened to her what actually happened wait what did they find oh my god dude she is in a cocoon there you go Damn is Damn. right. Fuck, dude. It's gonna turn into an actual version of Mothra. What the fuck? Nah, She's just gonna be crazy. flying around? So the man in the suit was like, oh wait, you had me fighting a fake? Alright, I'm gonna go make a real one real quick. Oh my god. Larva, now it's you cannot outsmart the man in the suit! So that was the Analog Horror Series, The Man in the Suit. And honestly, I can see why you guys were recommending this one so much. Literally for the last two weeks, you guys have been blowing up my comment section saying that I got to cover it. And the storytelling in this one is actually really good. I like how it's slowly progressing and just getting crazier and crazier. As far as where I think this is going to go in the future, I do think Godzilla is creating his own army. I mean, he did say it himself back in like the Anguirus video, but now it's him, Anguirus, and what's going to become Mothra. Now, I'm not huge into the Godzilla lore, so you guys might have to help me with some stuff but i do know that one of godzilla's biggest villains is king Ghidorah, who is like this gigantic three-headed dragon that i think came from space correct me if i'm wrong about that but king Ghidorah's first appearance is actually in 1964 which is the same year that we left off on today which means maybe after mothra godzilla might go after king Ghidorah next oh and my that would be god definitely pretty nuts especially if all of these people that emerge with the suit end up really getting the powers that their suit's supposed to have also pretty wild to think that mothra might just end up flying around but i really like where the series is going i think godzilla is gonna create a gigantic army and then try to attack whoever he thinks is responsible for hiroshima which wouldn't that be the u.s like how, how exactly would that work how the fuck is that gonna work i don't know attack on the u.s let me know what you guys think in the comments. I do think the cameraman is going to get more involved, and I do think he's going to end up stopping this whole thing before it gets too insane. We do definitely know that more videos are coming in the future, so if you do want me to continue to cover this series, don't forget to drop a like on this video. And also, don't forget to comment any thoughts or theories you may have in the comments down below. Also, again, big shout out to Unknowingly, who is the creator of this analog horror series. Their channel will be at the top of the description down below. Please be sure to go and support your analog horror content creators. And alright guys, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe. We do videos like this all the time, and we're trying to hit 400k before the end of 2024. And alright guys, hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Okay. Godzilla's gone crazy. Anguirus murdered the hell out of King Kong. We have now a Mothra in possible 
stasis right now in her cocoon because you know moths and butterflies do that um there you go <laughs> so something tells me godzilla is gonna go after king Ghidorah, and just everybody else before the, him has been mutated and garris king Ghidorah, well except mothra well except uh um i suck at talking all I'm gonna say is that we have- I know that I gotta give a shout out to Unknowingly. Give this guy huge support. Um, if you want me to keep doing this, drop a comment, subscribe, uh, like it, rate it, share it. There you go. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!